Hey, what's up everybody? This is Royce from Paddle Mel. Welcome to my channel. Tonight's video is going to be checking out this 118th scale Christine partially restored night version from Auto World. And it is all over die cast metal with plastic parts, etc, etc. And we'll get it right into opening it up. I know I haven't done a 118th review in a while, so this is kind of cool. Pretty fun. Pretty exciting. Some nice box graphics in there. And here's the back the back of the box. All right, now we have it out of the box. We can get a better look here at this. This is, of course, a 1958 Plymouth Fury. And if you're not familiar with the movie Christine, I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. So definitely check it out. Um, it's pre-CGI, obviously, but it has some amazing special effects in, in it. And it's... It being it was written by Stephen King so it is obviously listed as a horror movie but to me it's not really a horror movie I don't know I I always I have it in with my automotive movies actually and to me it's just it's really a, a love affair of a car and how you can get so obsessed with your car and uh, vice versa anyway I won't give away any plot points or anything in the movie and um, if you haven't seen it but definitely check it out so here we go. We'll t take a look here at this from Auto World. Uh, it's very, very large. You can see the pose the, the when you know with per the scale of my hand how large this is. Fairly nice detailing on it. Now it has uh, their attempt of weathering, I guess you want to say, and it's not bad for the money. I paid eighty nine dollars for this, which is a lot, in my opinion, but that's the cheapest I could find on eBay to do this review and um, I'll show you mine then later on I made my own a couple years ago and had a uh, I think a two or three part video series of how I made my own from a $17 car from BJ's but they also did use Belvedere's in the movie so I think that's what the one was that I bought at BJ's wholesale club was the uh, 57 Belvedere so we will go ahead here and take a look. Well, this does have, I didn't notice, I didn't notice that before. This does have uh, carpets in it. They have uh, felt in there. That's what I did to mine, the one I made for the channel. Uh, I did uh, crushed red felt powder and put in for the carpet so this one has that as well which is really cool i didn't realize this one had that you can kind of see it there on the floor right there i don't know it's kind of an odd rusty orangish brown though which is kind of strange but the seats kind of the seat does move forward pretty accurate Pretty nice. Uh, so this is the supposed to be this one scene they show in the movie when Arnie's showing the car, who's starting to to work on it, and the uh, Darnell is talking to his friend, and it says about, "Hey, he has good hands. Yeah, kid has good hands." So they can they, the same cheesy looking fake crack is also in the movie, just like that. It looks like someone just took a screwdriver and scratched it into the windshield. Uh, so that is accurate to the movie. I always thought it looked kind of bad, but. So it's very similar. The hood was glossy red. Because I just watched the movie this past weekend. It was, uh, this this window was clear. And the back ones were like frosted and dirty. But this has great detailing. My only issue I have with this car is why in the hell did they use 124 scale license plates on this? Is that horrible or what? And I'll show you the the, 
the one that I did for the channel I made my own I just printed out on a printer and um, it's not that hard to do and I'm gonna end up having to do that for this one which kind of upsets me considering I paid ninety dollars for this plus fifteen dollars shipping but so be it I don't usually leave anything stock I do enjoy fixing things up and so let's take a closer look here at what we got in the trunk we have one tire and some weird kind of can't really see it there but some frosted looking weathering over spray from when the the chinese kids took in their airbrush and sprayed the weathering of the tire there it's just went off to the side that looks terrible but yeah, it's not super noticeable but detailing could be a lot better on the trunk in my opinion for this price point like the latch there doesn't look very good i do like though i noticed when i flipped it over they actually have the holes painted in the exhaust exits that looks good you can see there how they're kind of painted in black that looks pretty nice and here's the battery if you're wondering about this right here the battery compartment nowhere on the boxes it say it lights up but this one here if you flip this switch the headlights will come on so that is very very cool uh, I might rig this up so the taillights also work with it because in my opinion that would look a lot that would look really cool but I kind of panicked when I first got this in the mail I thought well this isn't why did the eBay listing say it's had working headlights when I don't see anything working headlights but they're there so let's check out the uh and like I said, there's the front, if I can get centered. Looks pretty decent. But that the 124 scale license plate, it's like they basically just reused it from the 124th cars. Looks absolutely horrendous. And that's my biggest complaint. For me, it just kind of almost ruins the whole thing. Uh, and I got to hide these wiring. This looks terrible right here. You can see the red and white wiring. That's from the headlights. That looks stupid, but... I can get that fixed out. I don't know, these balls are probably for vacuum maybe, vacuum assist of some sort. I'm not sure what those are for there, but it's not bad. I mean, it's really not bad. It's definitely a little bit better than the uh, Motor Max one I'll show here at the end. We'll park them together. Now, it's funny, he has arnie has brand new wheels and tires like on this side but i think this side they're yeah this side they're dirty so hence the partially restored but the tampa process to do these same with their 164th cars are really really nice i mean it's really impressive quite honestly you, you can't really i have no issues with that at all i think that looks great and the roof tampa looks good too so I don't know how they do that, if it's some kind of decal or if that is an actual tampa. It looks like a tampa of some sort. So we have the silver fish scales on the side. A lot of people debate that and claim that this should be gold. Uh, if you watch the movie, it's not gold. It's definitely silver. So I painted my the gold uh, on the Belvedere that I did silver to match the movie car. So, all right, I'll put this up on the turntable, take a closer look here at it. Um, let's bring in, though, the one that I made and park next to it. So this would be like the clean version. And it's essentially the same, but you can tell this is actually some, there's some things on this motor, I think this is Motor Max. Yeah, Motor Max. Right here, it says Motor Max. Um, it's very, very similar to the Auto World but for I think I paid sixteen or seventeen dollars for this a few years ago. BJ's I uh, didn't. I forget. I think the roof was gold. I believe on it. I think it was gold or all over red. But I, I vinyl wrapped. I just used signed uh, outdoor grade vinyl. I wrapped the roof in white vinyl. Changed the entire interior. Put carpet in. Um, I did a lot of work on this. There was two antennas on the back. I moved the one antenna to the front and um filled the holes in the back but it was i think like here at least they have the lock assemblies painted in and there's the license plate that i made which is essentially 
looks a thousand times better than the one on the auto world not much going on inside the trunk the engine's not quite as good as the auto world um i ended up redoing a lot of stuff with that so if you guys want i can put the links down below for when i had worked on this project for the channel but i think the license plates just doing your own cutting it out it's just office paper i mean it just is a thousand times better in my opinion so there we go that's the the nice version and like i said for um like there that doesn't there's a windshield washer squirt nozzle on the hood here i did paint that silver i think it didn't come that way but there, there's not even that little bump on the hood of the auto world so i'm not sure which one's correct and which one's not i don't really know but it's cool to have both of them together like a clean version and the uh, partially restored so i'll put the one we're actually reviewing up on the turntable here and we'll check it out so i just thought you guys might like to see that though the two of them together but aren't they huge though it's just crazy how big they are i mean my hand is fairly i don't have a huge huge hand but the average an average man size hand but this is uh got some weight to it now i'm looking at it i would say the mole eh, maybe not i was gonna say now this also does say fury on the back and i'm not sure if the movie car says fury on it or not if that's taken off i noticed on the all world there is no logo there it says fury and it does say 1958 plymouth fury on the bottom on the bottom here but on on the frame but i could positively swear when i bought this at bj's it said uh belvedere on the box and i did lightly kind of weather this with like a rusty brown coloring sort of see so that didn't come that way all right we'll put this one up on the turntable and we'll spin it around we'll get a view of it that way and then that'll be we'll wrap this up So there we go, we get to check it out going around on the turntable under the Vegas lights in all of its glory. And it is awesome, except for the license plates. That's my only complaint with this auto world. That looks terrible. But you get what you get and you take what you can take and so on and be whatever. So hopefully you guys, if you have your own printer at home, you can just make your own license plate like I'm going to do with this one. And what I'll do is just take a picture of the plate that I had parked behind there, which is movie accurate, and go from there. If you like this type of video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you're not a subscriber, please consider it's free, and you can't be free. And hit the bell, though, for notifications. Only like 7% of my subscribers actually watch the channel, believe it or not. Or I guess I have it flip-flopped. Yeah, my viewership is like 7% of the viewers are subscribed, I should say. Something crazy low, whatever. Anyway. So thanks for watching, everybody. And I will see you guys next time. God, that was exaggerated, wasn't it? That was long in the... Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye now.